It's a deadly condition. It's, uh, it's extremely common here in San Antonio, but because fatty liver produces no symptoms, it often goes undiagnosed. There are also no drugs available to treat it. It's such a big problem, a local doctor came out of retirement to help solve it. Here's a clip of the story from our very own Courtney Friedman. This dark part right here is what we're looking at. This 400 right here, that is the fat in their liver. That's the highest that number goes. Um, a normal would be 238 to 260. Since April, Dr. Schwartz and his technician, Genevieve Villarreal, have screened about 300 San Antonio patients, and the numbers are unnerving. If you're pre-diabetic or diabetic, we're finding 70% have significant amount of fat in the liver already. And Courtney Friedman joins us now for our reporter debrief. Thanks Hi, for coming in. This Hi, morning. it's good to finally see you guys. I know, we're you. always ships passing in the night, it I seems know. like. Yeah. So we mentioned in here it's very common, but it's surprising right. how many people don't even know about it. That's the response we got when my story aired. Almost immediately I was answering questions because a lot of people here, as we report all the time with kidney function and liver disease, uh, there are a lot of pre-diabetic and diabetic people in San Antonio, and that's why this is ground zero for the research. So you you look at these, you know, scans and you just see kind of squiggly lines, but um, a lot of us will have a lot more fat than we realize, and that is related to a lot of other issues. Yeah, a lot of people not talking about fatty liver disease. Back to the studies that are taking place, five of them in all, how easy is it to get checked out or qualify for being a part? Right. If you didn't see the story, I mean, you just saw that little clip right there. I actually did the what is it, a one minute long scan thing. Okay. And you lay down, they have almost like an ultrasound probe. Yeah, that's it's, it yeah like. it's, it's just like you're getting a sonogram or something, but they put it up to your, the side your liver is on on your right side. And you just, right here, you can see it right here. You lay back and you cross your legs and then they're literally just putting this probe up to you, clicking, taking 12 pictures, and that's all they need. And all hurt? of, not at all. I didn't, really didn't even feel anything. So uh, <laughs> it was it was amazing. I was asking actually, when are you going to start? <laughs> now, you mentioned here that San Antonio is kind of ground zero for, mm -hmm. for all this study and stuff, but it's combined with other national with other numbers rather internationally yes. to create drugs that they want to treat it. Right. So that's the whole point. Dr. Schwartz was, uh, you know, has dealt with this type of disease for a long time, but he went into retirement and then realized there is an international base of researchers that they are so close to finding a drug for this or creating a drug for this. They just need more people um, for these clinical studies. Uh, and so he said he's just really proud to be a part of it because there are people in this organization internationally in a, a lot of countries that he named off uh, that the numbers here in San Antonio will be combined with their research and all of this will be used by dozens of researchers to try to find a drug to cure them. What were some other takeaways from working on this story, Courtney? Well, the takeaway was how easy it is to get tested. A mm -hmm. lot of people think I'm going to have to go in for a procedure or I can't get there. It's really interesting. Actually, they pay for your transportation to and from wow. uh, the, the test. And it, like I said, it only takes a few minutes. So it's worth getting tested, even if you don't qualify for the study, so that you know how you're doing health wise. Is there a target group that they want? You know, he, he just said anyone who wants to come in and check, I know that they, they do need some of the people who are, like you, like high she risk. was showing, the high risk 400 is the top number. And he said, you know, like the first sound bite that he said, it is very common here to find that, unfortunately. And there's nothing you can do to treat it as of right no, now? No, not right now. I mean, the first thing before they even try to talk about like clinical trials or anything to try to find this drug, they always say diet and exercise. You know, just little tiny steps, just eating a little bit healthier and then just taking walks or, you know, a lot of people who are pre-diabetic and diabetic know that, but it's that big of a deal because this can get worse if your lifestyle ch doesn't change. Real quick, Courtney, it sounded like this became a personal quest for Dr. Schwartz. Yeah, I think I think it really did because I mean he said he was in retirement and you know had been been an endocrinologist for a long time. You guys used to have him on the show oh all the time. Oh my goodness, I remember yeah. him from I do too. 25, 30 years right. ago. Right, yeah. and he said that he just you know he keeps up with the research just because this is you know his life's work and just saw that there are 40 I believe 48 drugs that are um, being looked in at right now in development, but they are not FDA approved, and he believes that he can help push that over. We love Dr. Schwartz. Yes. Thanks for coming in. Of course, thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So it's online at ksat.com. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Thank you, Courtney. Thanks, Court.